So far, we've looked at how to give an effective answer. But what should you avoid? Let's look at the things you don't want to do. You won't get extra marks for saying the same answer over and over again. So it's important to read back through your work and make sure that you are not repeating yourself. Spending lots of time copying out lengthy quotes and then not explaining what they mean or which of the writer's methods is being used is likely to cost you marks. You won't get awarded for using overly long quotes, so only quote what you need. Remember to stick to the number of marks for writing time rule. Remember, it's the views of the writer you are finding and analysing and their use of methods. It is not the views of the characters. Writers will use their character to get ideas across, but this doesn't always mean the characters have the same views as the authors. Always think about the overall ideas and perspectives, not just one or two quotes or actions from a character. Explaining your answer is extremely important, but you should also talk about how the writer has made you come to this conclusion. What methods have they used? Where? And why? <laughs>